All right, in today's video, we're gonna do a full video walkthrough on how to export your contact list in Go High Level. Now, why would you be doing this? Is because maybe you want to uh, export the list so that you can utilize it in another program to do email marketing, or uh, maybe you wanna use that list to do some other type of campaigns, all right? So let's do it. All right, so we are on a sub account for a specific uh, uh, brand. Uh, let me just uh, let me rephrase that. Okay. All right, so here we are in one of the sub accounts, and what you want to do is before you export a list um, or contact, you want to make sure that you um, visually see or just. Uh, selectively select the people or the contacts that you want to download. And so for that, what you want to do is you want to click on more filters. And then in this case, we're going to use a tag for people that are in the newsletter. And so we're going to do a search for, in this case, let's go and take a look at newsletter right here. Uh, and then move my support chat over. And then we're going to click apply. All right. So then once you apply, then we, um, the list has, uh, let me just clear this filter and let me show you, uh, let me just clear this. As you can see, it's 17, uh, 1,785 contacts. And now when we go and click the tag for the newsletter and then click apply, it goes to 1,755, as you can see here. Now, Another thing that if you're going to be, let's say, exporting this list out to people that you want to maybe do an email campaign on another platform, and that's what I do a lot, um, you want to make sure that you put an N and then you put here that the do not disturb is not set for email. So basically, uh, you're putting the filter because if um, for people that does basically want the email. So if you if the DND is set, that means they don't they don't want to hear from you, right? So you want to click apply and then it goes to 1644 contacts. So as you can see here. All right, so or if you want to just export the whole whole list, then you can just go ahead and just remove all of them and then just export it. All right. So we're just using this as a filter. Um, for the people that we you want to specifically export, all right? So now we click on this button, and then we are going to um, click on select 20. So this shows 20 on the screen, so we want to select all 1,644 contacts, and then you click on 1,644 contacts. So before we do that, Let's say that there are other uh, fields that you want to export. So let me uh, let me just unselect this for now. And so if you were to export this list, the list would show everything that is selected here. So it would show the name, phone number, email, created, last activity, and tags. Let's say hypothetically you want to click on, let's say, um, the address here maybe you want to select address and so the address will be visible here and maybe there are other custom forms or custom fields that you want to include maybe the birthday you want to include the birthday in the in in the list any fields that you or columns or fields uh, either way that you want to be included in the exported list you would select here right uh, in this case, I don't want to include the um, the address, or in the other case, it was birthday. So I'm not. I just want my main thing here is I want to include the name, phone number, and the email. All right. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select select all, 1644, and then on the top you're going to click on right here export contacts right and then you're going to click on export contacts 
and then what that's going to do is going to sh um, download a file most of the file name is called file saver um, whatever the file name and then usually the date that's associated with it so let's go to the file explorer and I'll show you the file all right so here's the file that was downloaded and let's go ahead as you can see it's a CSV which stands for comma separated um, value file okay so we're gonna double click on that and it should open up in Excel if you have Excel installed on your computer all right so here we are in uh, this is the Excel spreadsheet and so as you can see there is the contact ID the first name last name uh, phone number email and created and here's the tags now what we're gonna do is we're going to let's Cus let's add another field so that way um, I want to make sure that you it it uh, when we download it that that field is going to be in this document all right so we're back on the sub account and so what we're going to do is we're going to include uh, maybe go down and let's see let's find some information that may be uh, relevant that we can um, Let's see here. How did you hear about our? Let's uh, click on that. And there are some information as you can see here. And so let's go ahead and highlight all this information and select all 1644. And then we're going to click uh, export. And then we're going to export contacts again. All right. So let's go back to the file explorer all right so as you can see here's the file for the uh, the one that was downloaded later which is uh, at 1 37 p.m. and I'm going to double click on that all right so here we are in this uh, Excel spreadsheet or Excel um, uh, CSV file and as you can see right here how did you hear about the us is visible right here and so that field was not previously there in the other file let me just take a look let me uh, don't save and then open that other file and as you can see here that file that column wasn't here on the previous con uh, CSV file so um, like I said I think that is the most important part all right so as you can see uh, it can be straightforward but if you want to customize the fields that are being exported for the contacts, make sure you adjust the columns uh, and show the fields that you want to export. All right, so I hope you, this video was helpful. Uh, give me a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to our channel.